The goal here today is not to get absolutely soaked. Hey, hey guys, Diesel does fishing back here for another video and uh, I've got uh, a very gracious listener of my radio show who lets me come out and fish her family's pond way back there in the background. We're finally getting rain in South Carolina. It feels like it's been months since we've had any rain and this is not really a big significant rain but it's something and we'll absolutely take it but i'm going to try not to get soaked out here i'm going to fish as long as i can i know there's another big blob coming at us on the radar maybe throw some frogs some buzz bait stuff that might make a little bit of noise in this water let's see what's happening today top of fences in the rain. Whew. Try not to fall and die. Hey, buddy. Oh, well, why not start right off this dock? We can access all the way around this pond, no biggie. But we'll start right here. See drag this buzz bait right past the edge of this dock. Maybe somebody's at home. Maybe somebody will come up and crush. First, yes, good. well, not that. <laughs> obviously not as big as I thought it was gonna be, but bro, it came up and nailed the buzz bait. Yes, only about five casts in, and we've already got fish. Yeah. See, you, dude, already getting bites. This early in the morning, catching fish. Oh, the bass came up and smoked it just off the edge of this fence. What is happening? What is this bird's nest? My head's getting rained on. I don't know if anybody else uh, who's watching has had a whole lot of experience with this line. This is the spider wire 25 pound braid. I've had a lot of problems with this thing breaking off. My boy, Ball Bass Fishing, has had the same issue. It's castable, you know, it's it's light enough, it's a light enough braid that it'll fly. But questioning its its strength. Forecast in, buzz bait seemed to be getting a little bit of action. Big old bird's nest. I couldn't get free. So we switched over to this little popping perch. Seems to be the right kind of weather for inducing a topwater bite. How gorgeous is this spot to fish, by the way? Oh my God. I had to give this thing another try. I mean, it was money on like the third cast. So I started playing around with the, uh, with this reel. I was finally able to clear that massive bird's nest. I had to do a lot of chopping, a lot of hacking. But I got things loose, got things squared away. Definitely gonna re-spool this thing. Man, I hate this 25 pound braid. And it looks like I figured this thing out just before the rain comes. Yeesh. Look at it, it's starting to come down now. Hood up, trying to keep the noggin dry. Camera doesn't care, it's waterproof. It'll be fine.
You know what I love about this buzz bait? It shows you where you've just cast. I mean, I can still, oh, oh my God. Smoked it. Frick. This mother sucking line stinks. I'm telling you people, 20 pound spider wire, stay away. All right, Mr. Bass, come up and hit it again, please. Oh, he was ran right at me and he spit it out. Oh my god. Guys, the buzz bait. Oh my god, look how much he bent that thing. Look how much he bent the wire. Straighten that sucker back out. Going right back. Got him, got him. Oh my God. Don't you dare spit it. Get up here on the bank. Woo. Wow. Oh. My God, look at that dude. Look at that head. His head is enormous. Wow, shot right down the throat. Wow, look at him, he's dark, he's chunky. He's got a big belly. 4.31, all right girl. Let's get you back in. We've been out in the water for a little while. There she goes. Yes! <laughs> a four, three, one. Big bass on the buzz bait came up and crushed. Yes! Buzz baits, catch big ass fish. That has to be the fish that was harassing my buzz bait the last like five casts. Whew. I had a long drought earlier in, was it June or July? I caught a four six. Nothing over a pound and a half, two pounds for a while. And then two weeks ago, I caught a three and a half. A couple of days ago, I caught a two. Today, a four three. Yeah, I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but even while it's raining, you can see a clear line, a path from your previous cast or two. That's what's so awesome about wake baits and buzz baits. You know where you've cast. It's just like drawing a line. And I put that one in the exact same place. <laughs> As I'm talking about going left, right, wide, here, there, everywhere, I go in the exact same line. All right, it's really starting to come down. My gear over there is getting soaking wet. We're gonna take it back to the Jeep for a couple of minutes, see if we can get this to calm down, maybe come back out. Feels good to catch a big fish, a 4.3. That's my second biggest fish ever, only surpassed by the 4.66 I caught earlier this year. You can check out that video if you want. I'll leave a link down below in the description. But wow, 
the fishing has been so slow lately. You gotta say, it's because of this rain that we're picking up overnight. They're getting some fresh oxygen. They're feeling good about themselves. They're feeling aggressive. Now you saw the head on that fish. His head was massive. Didn't have a huge belly though. If that fish has a belly, that's a five, five and a half pound fish all day. And it, you, it's gotta be because they just haven't been eating over the past couple of weeks and months. So man, it feels good. Give me a thumbs up for that fish, would you? Hit that like button for that huge bass. Drop a comment down below. What's the biggest fish you've caught this summer? We're just kind of hanging out in uh, in the Jeep here, trying to get a little bit of shelter in hopes that this rain will pass over. It's been off and on, off and on. So we're gonna try to wait this out a little bit, maybe get back out there. All right, YouTube family, we're going back out there. Oh. The rain has subsided. A little bit for a minute out here fishing with these cows dodging patties it's hard to tell out here what's a pile of leaves and what's a big pile of <laughs> of course as soon as i walk back out here it starts pouring down rain all over again come on if even the cows have enough sense to run in and find shelter I'm gonna run and find shelter. Well, just as I said, I would not be deterred. I am being deterred. Uh, the weather has definitely pushed in hard. It started dumping rain. I've been sitting here for another 20 minutes or so, and it's not letting up, and I got somewhere to be, so I should probably head on down the road. But thanks for watching the video, but it just goes to show you that sometimes you gotta get out there and fish in adverse conditions if you wanna catch the big dogs. Thanks for checking out the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's down here in this corner. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Turn on the bell notification, subscribe and bell. They're side by side. Why would you not hit both at the same time? And of course, drop a comment down below. All those things go into the YouTube algorithm. All those things help me get pushed up higher and higher and make more and more people see this video. Thanks for hanging out. I'll be back next week with another video here on Diesel Does Fishing.